My name is T. Patrick Murray, and I am interested in running for the 167th District in Pennsylvania's state representative seat, currently held by a Republican for the last six years. I believe that I can win the seat for specific reasons, and I think I should be supported by the Libertarian Party for not just running a certain campaign for a certain small state seat, but rather because it is actually also an exercise in marketing and media and branding. I'm an award-winning documentary filmmaker. Go to thelastgame.com, Jack Nicholson optioned my film, it's been on national television, called one of the best documentaries ever made. Um, I'm not bragging, I work very hard at it, and that's the name of my game, creativity and hard work. I come from a family that was poor, yet my father, through hard work and through creativity and through just plain hustle, ended up buying an NFL football team. Um, so don't come from wealth or privilege, but rather come from a poor Irish Catholic family who grew up and uh, my dad hustled really hard and, and was able to give us more and, and an advantage. I went to University of Pennsylvania as well, like you do. And uh, I'm an award-winning filmmaker, like I said, and a writer, so that's important in terms of me wanting to do a documentary about my campaign and follow two other candidates that are libertarian. One on, say, the state level, running for a state senate, for a national senator or rep spot, and then follow the federal presidential race. So we can show the Libertarian Party through three candidates, local, state, and federal. That's a positive thing. I can do it for not hardly any money, uh, high definition. There's a whole way to do it that's efficient, and you would have control of it and have great control over it if you were to help me. If you don't want to be a part of it, then I can do my own thing, obviously, but I'd rather work with the party. Regarding my candidacy, why can I be a Republican in a place that's never voted for anyone but a Republican ever in history? It's a very affluent place, the main line in Pennsylvania. Well, here's the thing. The Noam Chomsky joke that being a Libertarian, or the Libertarian Party was right of the Republican Party. So I think that's an exaggeration. And um, I'm a former Democrat who's now disillusioned with Obama and disillusioned with um, the Democratic Party. I'm also not happy with the Republican Party. And uh, I love being a libertarian. I think it's an incredible party because if they're black and, and the other's white, the libertarian is gray. We are that gray area. And actually, I think we should adopt it as our color. Also, as a side note here, um, if they're the donkey and they're the elephant, well, which, what are we? I think I with the Statue of Liberty right now, which is cool. But imagine switching to the eagle. Not the bald eagle, because that's America. The gray eagle. Because it represents that if you want to boil down the one libertarianism, the one word, which might be freedom if you were to use one word, but here's even a better word, gray. It represents the middle ground between so many extremes. And that's what I love about it. And I love that within the party there's so much diversity. Okay, so we need to get the message out. We need to market this party better. I'm telling you, I'm 41 years old. I One of the things I'm doing is a teenager channel, teenagerchannel.com. Check it out. And um, I'm working with them. And I know what they're like. And I know that we can get the entire generation to Nathan me if we market correctly. And that would make this party change drastically in the next few years. So don't overlook media, social networks, and how we can use the web. So that's why you should get behind me as a filmmaker and be part of that and control it and be involved. Number two, what am I as a candidate? What am I offering? Well, here it is. Three things. Number one, there's a 1.5% earned income tax in this district that people hate. It's the lion's share of the income in the area, and it's simply a tax. I know that Republicans don't like taxes, and I you know that Libertarians don't like taxes. And guess what? I have a way to get rid of it. And not just an idea or a vague wanting desire to. I have a plan that works. If you want to know what the plan is? Call me. I'll talk to you and tell you about it. Number two, the web. I want to make the entire structure of local politics uh, using the web, uh, I want to make it uh, transparent and interactive so a person can go on once a week with me and have an hour-long uh, session with 500 people for us to be uh, like a web chat type of thing uh, or an audio chat. It doesn't matter. Communication chat. It's like a town hall meets uh, Prime Minister's questions from the UK. The web allows us to do that. And on my own dime and with my own time, I have already created it. I have the websites and everything. Um, I won't say their names now because I don't know if anyone's going to listen or talk to me. But if you guys do, I want you to be a part of it. I want to share it with other candidates if they want to. So, promise number one is get rid of that tax. Number two, or, or try my best to reduce or get rid of it with this plan, which I'll tell you about. Number two is 
interactivity, transparency, uh, put a bill up, have people vote for it, so the constituency has a more of an involvement in it. And uh, I believe in that. I think it makes government smaller and more efficient, takes away the people and the bureaucracy, uses technology, you know, and, and everything's transparent. Um, and the third thing is, is that I'm not going to run a negative campaign, but I'm going to say, look, this guy has done, been there for six years. He's done what he's going to do, and he's done great work. The whole idea, I think, of government should be that people come together and actually do it themselves. Uh, they, they contribute something, and then someone else comes in and contributes something. In other words, I don't think career politicians are necessarily a good idea, and I want to make that clear by saying I want one term to do these things I'm saying, and then I'll leave, and then the, the next person come in and contribute their own life. So that's why I think you should talk to me about the film. That's why I think you should get behind me as a candidate in the 167th district. I'm going to call Lou, and I'm going to try to sell him this by email to other parts of the leadership in, in the party. But I really, really hope that you guys call me or email me, tpatrickmurray at gmail.com, tpatrickmurray at gmail.com, thelastgame.com. You can check out my film work. And uh, the rest, let's talk about on the phone or by email or somehow. Thank you very much for your time. Sorry I talked fast, but I wanted to make this quick.